Hey everybody, what is going on? Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today we're gonna look at a mystery activity that is focused around addition. This is going to be one of the mystery ideas that I'm going to share for you, but today we are doing this for an addition problem as you look into this. What I'm gonna start with doing is actually going up to add and assign activity. From here, I'm going to go over to create a new activity because we're actually creating this all in Seesaw today. So create a new activity. Let's title this addition find. And I'm going to paste the directions that I kind of already have uh, done for you. So it says click on add, click on move, move the spotlight around and discover your problems. Click on the mic to solve them and then click on check to turn in your work. So let's get right into the template to do some work. I'm going to choose add a template for responses. I'm then going to choose drawing and I have my blank canvas. Now the first thing I like to do when I do this is title this with something that gives a little bit of help to students. So I'm gonna say use the spotlight to discover your problems, just like that. And I'm gonna crank this way out like that just to make this look like a title and we'll put it up at the top. I'm gonna even lock this so it isn't movable. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit more help by putting a arrow over here that's actually going to point to the actual uh, spotlight itself. So we made this super, super long. Let's even bring it down to black and it's going to literally point directly to the spotlight. Now for the spotlight, I like to make mine as a circle. You can literally make these any shape that you want. Uh, for me, I like circles because spotlights often look like circles and they're also often yellow. So that's why I choose to do mine this way. Again, you can choose to do yours any way that you so choose. So as I start to design this, I need to have three layers in my mystery activity. The very first layer has to be the background shapes. So I'm gonna put that layer in by going over here to the three dots and choosing shapes. Now I can choose any shape that I want. For this example, let's just choose squares. I'm gonna make my square about this big and I'm gonna choose a color for me to actually make this match to. Now I'm gonna choose this nice light purple. Once I have one shape, I'm going to duplicate this for all of the other background shapes to complete the very first layer. So I can do that by going down here to the three dots and choosing duplicate, or I can just go Command D to duplicate this. So I'm gonna fly through and duplicate the rest of the shapes. Okay, so that is our first layer finished. We have all of our background shapes in place. The next thing I'm going to do is set our middle layer, which is actually already built. It is our spotlight. And in order to make this the middle layer, I have to go down here to the three dots and choose to bring this to the front. Now, if I move this, I can see it's the middle because it's gonna float over top of all of these shapes and that's exactly what I want. So I have my first layer, which is all these shapes. I have my second layer, which is the spotlight and the third layer is going to be all of the math problems that lay over top of this. So I'm gonna to start to set those up from here. What I'm gonna do is choose the text tool. I'm going to shrink it and change the style so that I don't have any borders. Just like this, here it is. And it's kind of floating here in like never, never land. And I'm gonna just put one quick sample problem on here. Let's say we want to do six plus seven. Okay, now before I go and start duplicating this and putting this all over, I want to make sure that it fits the best that it possibly can. So I'm going to grab the corner to make it a little bigger. I'm going to make sure that it fits right in its dot center. And then I'm going to actually color match it to the background shape. So since this is purple, I can start by clicking and dragging over the purple until I literally see it disappear right there okay so now this whole math problem has actually disappeared in here and I can see that I have my layers right if I just do a quick little sample like this and pull the spotlight whoosh I can make it appear just like that that is amazing so I have my first problem done what I'm going to do is duplicate this and lay a math problem over every single one of these squares to set up my very third layer here we go 
So now that we have all three layers complete, we're ready to actually click the check and finish this up for our students. So let's click the check and we're gonna click on save and then we're gonna actually assign this to a class so you can see what this looks like for your students. Now, you could typically send this home as like a f math fact worksheet or something like that for your students, but what you're gonna get by doing things in this style is much more engaging activity and you're gonna be able to hear some of their strategizing because if students go in and click the mic and start to move their spotlight, you're gonna hear them strategizing how to solve these problems as they're uncovering them. So they not only get a very fun and engaging activity, you get some awesome some information as a teacher. If you enjoyed how to make this really fun mystery edition activity, please like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you so much for watching.